Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! This is Steve Akeley, and we have a special edition of the Bourbon Daily lined up for you today. This is a podumentary, which I define as a documentary in podcast form, about a series of commercials we did on this very show during the pandemic. This podumentary originally appeared on the ABV Network channel, but that audience is smaller than this one, so I wanted to make sure everyone heard it, so I'm releasing it here as well. Enjoy this special presentation. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network and co-host of the Bourbon Daily and the Bourbon Show podcast. Today we have a podumentary, our third podumentary, which I have defined as a documentary presented in podcast format. The previous two podumentaries were a look into the history of eggnog, which first aired on December 1st, 2018, and is now a yearly tradition to release on the ABV Network channel podcast each December 1st. Production-wise, that really set a high bar for what I believe podumentaries should be. I came back in August of 2019 with a deep dive and look into how people managed to mess up our Rate My Bourbon collection shows on the Bourbon Daily. It was a fun look at some of the mistakes people have made through the years of what appears to be a pretty straightforward job of presenting or judging someone's bourbon collection. I feel like both of my podumentary offerings to date are solid and I plan to make them a regular thing, but I keep myself pretty busy and finding time has been a challenge. Recently, my schedule has been busy with both the ABV Network and the ABV Barrel Shop, so doing something like carving out time to do a podumentary seemed out of the question. But Jim and I hired Darren McCroy recently, our first employee at the ABV Barrel Shop, and the next thing you know, I've got a little time on my hands. Ideally, I should probably spend this time having some fun or perhaps focusing on things like benefiting my health, but in reality, work is the only thing that I truly know. So I'm going back to work with another podumentary that I created here, and hopefully there'll be more in the future. I would like to put a disclaimer out there that this story is about love. Seriously, I have nothing but love and respect for everyone involved. As I walk you through this, we hit a low that probably meant the end of the ABV network, which in turn means there would never be an ABV barrel shop. If it wasn't for my friends Becca Neely, Stephanie McNew, Justine Mays, and Royce Neely helping me out, it clearly would have been over. When times got tough, though, we came out fighting, and at the end of it, we were stronger than we were before we got started. Yes, we were able to thrive at a time when many businesses folded up shop. I'm going to walk you through that story and tell you about those rocky times as we focus on one of the funniest side trips of this journey. We're talking about something that is largely forgotten by our fans and probably not even heard of by new listeners. I'm going to take a look at the Lovebirds ad series that ran on the Bourbon Daily back in the fourth quarter of 2020. So sit back and get ready for a few laughs, and let's revisit those infamous Lovebird ads. So before we get started with this, we kind of got to go back in a time machine. You have to imagine March of 2020. As the ABV Network crew was departing from their homes to head to New Orleans for the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, all seemed well. 
Yes, we all knew about COVID, but at that time, it didn't seem any different than some of the other things we heard about through the years, like Ebola, the bird flu, or anything else that the media pumped up that sounded like our immediate demise was right around the corner. So we all arrive in New Orleans, and we get the word that the New Orleans Bourbon Festival has been canceled. Well, we're already there. we got a whole group of friends. What do you do? Well, you have fun. We partied. Seriously. I mean, look at what we were doing. We had a group of friends, and we were in New Orleans, probably one of the great party places in the world, and we had a clear calendar. Let's have some fun. The whole week we spent at bars, going on distillery tours, just having fun, and we ignored the news of the outside world. As we left NOLA, though, the reality would begin to set in. For instance, when I arrived home, my wife informed me that she'd be working from home. The NBA and the MLB were playing games without fans. Grocery shelves were cleared, and those carefree days in New Orleans were replaced with fear and feelings of the unknown. From a business perspective, a lot was happening. A lot of bad things, that is. In 2013, I had began writing, which would lead me entering into the world of bourbon and starting the ABV network in 2016. The way I was looking, 2020 was going to be the breakout year for the ABV network. Our podcasts were doing well, we had a nest egg of cash in the bank, and all our ads were sold. We were getting ready to launch a new division for live events offering behind-the-scenes access at distilleries and time with noted bourbon personalities. It would take just one week to strip all of this away. Sponsors left, live events were canceled across the board, and my math told me that that nest egg would hold out through June and then the company would be out of business. For most bourbon podcast companies, with the word companies in air quotes here, this wasn't a big deal. There are people sitting around in their boxer shorts with microphones and a podcast storage plan that runs them $30 a month. I was doing this full time though. It was my job. It truly was a matter of it was going to crash. I just didn't know exactly when. When it did though, I would be out of a job and broke and on the wrong side of 50 years old. Then something magical happened. Out of nowhere comes Zoom. Sure, we had similar technology out there, things like Skype or FaceTime. In fact, that's how we recorded prior to the pandemic. Skype proved to be a challenge though. It would work fine some days and not at all others. It wasn't always compatible with people's computers. Uh, there would be needs for updates just as we were getting ready to get started. Sometimes guests had to leave. Zoom comes along and guess what? The technology just works for everybody. With something that was simple to use, the new plan became let's do live events online. And it ends up saving not only my company, but saves the sanity of everybody involved. I'm talking about not only the team, the ABV network crew, but people who began to sign on and attend our events, allowing them to interact with people, feel like they're having a fun night out, even from the safety of their own home. Even though Zoom afforded me the luxury of doing some sort of live events, the thing that wasn't coming back was my podcast sponsorships. Then, in August 2020, seemingly out of nowhere, a woman named Julia Weisberg, the daughter of Thousand Oaks Barrel Company founder Brian Weisberg, reached out to the ABV network about a deal for the fourth quarter of 2020, a three-month buy on ads designed to boost sales for them during the holiday season. I immediately presented them with an agreement that included ads on The Bourbon Show, The Bourbon Daily, and an interview with her father for The Bourbon Daily that would air on November 24th, 2020, which was right before Thanksgiving and the opening of the traditional holiday shopping season. The focus of the ads was to highlight their products and also push a new product they had just come out with called the Fog Hat Cocktail Smoker. I began to write ads that would incorporate our team. The idea was to create seven different ads so we would have a different one airing each and every day that The Bourbon Daily came out. I'll save you the agony of hearing them all, and I've cut out the music at the beginning and the end to save some time, but let's take a listen at a few of these that were created to give you an idea of exactly how bad they were. The first one I wrote, I kind of called Enthusiasm. It was simply supposed to convey the excitement of our team for having a new sponsor, so I gathered McNew, Becca, and Justine together, and we did the ad. Give this one a listen at our lame attempt to capture the true excitement of getting a new sponsor. Steve, we hear we have a new sponsor to the network starting today. Who is it? What can you tell us? Well, it's true. We've got a brand new partner at the network, and they are Thousand Oaks Barrel Company. The company is the leader in direct consumer barrels. Say you want to do a little experimenting by aging some white whiskey in a small barrel, or you want to try your hand at an aged cocktail, Thousand Oaks Barrel Company has multiple size barrels to choose from, as well as personalized options and many accessories to help out. They also work with many distilleries, so you've probably seen some of their products if you go to your local distillery gift shop. What what we want to check them out. Well, you sure do. Head over to 1000oakbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oakbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. Yeah, there's nothing like the excitement of a bunch of people reading a script, is there? Next, McNew and I try to highlight one of the customer selections they had. Give this one a listen. Steve, what's your favorite item from Thousand Oaks Barrel Company? 
Well, there's a lot to choose from, but the decision is actually pretty easy for me. I like the personalized double barrel stacking system. Ooh, tell me about that. It's a barrel rack that you can personalize and it holds two barrels. I've got one on the way and I'm planning on aging some white dog in one of the barrels to create my own bourbon and Manhattan ingredients to the other so I can create a barrel aged Manhattan. I'm literally going to turn my studio into a Rick house. Yeah, it's going to look cool. It's going to look cool, but it's also going to smell great. That angel share is going to turn my studio into a full-fledged Rick house. Pick up your customized barrel Rick at 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oaksbarrel.com. Also check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrel. Admittedly, that one's pretty bad as well. So here's the next one that tried to do the thing that they really wanted to sell, that fog hat cocktail smoker. Check out the enthusiasm on this gem. Hey McNew, with everyone upping their home cocktail game with our favorite bars being closed or have limited hours, I've got a dandy little tool that can up your home bartending game big time. What's that, Justine? It's called the Fog Hat Smoker and it's the latest invention from Thousand Oaks Barrel Company. Smoke cocktails continue to be the rage and this nifty little device fits on top of your glass and uses an ordinary kitchen torch to ignite the tinder that creates a waterfall of flavored smoke that stays in your glass. Currently, they have six different scents of smoke, so you can experiment with different types of smoke to create the perfect cocktail. It would probably come in handy for anyone getting in our monthly cocktail contest over at abvnetwork.com slash coin. Well, I entertain a lot, so this sounds like the perfect item for me. I guess I need to head over to 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oaksbarrel.com to get my very own fog hat smoker. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrel.co. Okay, so what we were trying to do really wasn't working. There would be hope, though, and it would come in the form of the fieriest person we had on the air, a redhead known for yelling at guests and co-hosts. Despite the seemingly unpolished exterior, the one person on the team that could generate some real enthusiasm and seem genuine in ad reads was Becca. Here's an ad with her and Justine where she talks about the quality of the Thousand Oaks small barrels. Justine, I've been doing a little research on Thousand Oaks Barrel Company and the reason their products are such good quality is because they're literally using the same wood that Coopers are using on 53 gallon barrels distilleries use. Really? The first steps of making a barrel is to cut the oak into staves. When it's time to turn those staves into barrels, they are cut down to a uniform size. Thousand Oaks Barrel Company buys those excess pieces that are cut off and turns them into barrels we can use at home to create our own unique whiskeys or barrel-aged cocktails. Wow, so we're definitely not talking like the barrels distilleries use. We are talking the barrels the distilleries use. Precisely, Justine. Now I've granted you the superpower of barrel knowledge. Get your own personalized barrel by heading over to 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrel.co. As you listen to that, what I liked about Becca was she didn't sound rigid. Me, McNew, and Justine certainly did. I knew those first group of ads just weren't good enough, so I racked my brain. What could I do with just one person on our team that seemingly had some acting ability? Then it hit me. Becca was a newlywed, and what worked out really great is with my buddy, Royce Neely. I wanted to do a campaign featuring this all-American young couple that highlighted the dynamic of two people with very different backgrounds getting together. My idea for this series would be called Lovebirds. Well, that was it. I felt like I had it. Becca was great in the ads, Royce was fun, and the subject matter would be relatable. It seemed to me the formula for success. This idea wouldn't be without its challenges, though. While I had Becca on board, the wild card here was going to be Royce. I needed him to make these ads happen, but I wasn't exactly sure he'd be willing to read these, particularly because I was having some fun, and he's truly playing the comic foil here because Becca gets all of the good lines. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certificate. 
It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. We're also sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop focuses exclusively on barrel picks. It's the job of owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott to seek out distilleries that are making the best whiskey in the world, taste through their barrels, and select the ones that are off profile in the best way possible. They have high standards and refuse to allow anything into their store other than something they would be proud to have their name on. This leads to some really awkward conversations with distilleries that can't make it, but they do it for you, their customers. Learn more about what is going on at their St. Louis based store by heading over to abvbarrelshop.com. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller in one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. So it feels like this is a good time to recap a little bit. Let's not forget, we're continuing to struggle. Things definitely aren't back to normal just yet. And here we have a lifeline being thrown to us with some advertising on some of our podcast. Our initial attempts to create some good ads had largely crashed and burned other than the shining light in Becca. This new series would clearly be on the shoulders of Becca with Royce inserted as the straight man to set up the laughs from Becca as she would attempt to trick or convince him into ordering items from Thousand Oaks Barrel Company. I decided to write things as ridiculous as I could with the idea of thinking Royce would revise them to make it sound more like him, but to my delight, he read what I wrote. I mean, it was a little lifeless and kind of like the reading from A Prisoner of War, but it did work. It kind of offset with Becca's unbridled enthusiasm, and I feel like it was comedy gold. Here's a listen to commercial number one where we have Royce looking for the perfect Christmas gift for his mother. Honey, I've noticed you've been stressed out lately. What's going on? How did you know? Oh, the love force runs strong in this one. So I can tell. I've been busy at work, but I'm also on the edge about what to buy my mother for Christmas this year. She's tough to buy for. Well, what about something from Thousand Oaks Barrel Company? Now, Becca, I didn't mind when you bought Akeley that fog hat cocktail smoker from there when he did his 100th interview show on the Bourbon Show. I supported you when you bought the Drink Up Bitches Flash for Riley Kaplan's 21st birthday from Thousand Oaks. I even didn't say a word when you bought the customized barrel sign Congratulating the mailman's neighbor on having their first child from 1,000 Oaks. But my mother is a proper southern lady. She isn't going to like an alcohol-themed gift for Christmas. Oh, sweetie, you can be so silly. I get that she isn't going to be needing a barrel to age cocktails in or a cigar humidor, but what about some unique home decor ideas, yard signs, maybe even a serving tray with the Neely Family Distillery logo on it? Now, that's something my dear mother could enjoy. All right, how do I get one of those items? Well, it's simple. Just browse all the gift ideas over at 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's number 1000, no comma, by the way, 1000oaksbarrels.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. Or you could just let me order it for you. I'm getting ready to order one of those Javanators for the farmer's wife who provides our grain. She's a brand new grandma. Oh, God. Next, I brought in real life into these ads where I put in Becca's desire to get a pet crow, and it came together something like this. Becca, my dear wife, what are you doing? I'm on a Thousand Oaks Barrel website, ordering a birdhouse for Dr. James the Crow, since you won't let me have him in the distillery. Now, Becca, we're running the distillery here. Not a fresh pie and tacky tourist souvenirs gift shop. We can't over-accessorize this place and make it look like a junk shop. We're not, Royce. In fact, it ties quite nicely into the distillery. It's a small tiki bar, and we can even customize it with the Neelys or even Dr. James if we'd like. Now, Becca, you know I'm an animal lover at heart. If we can brighten Dr. James's life a little bit 
I'm putting a roof over his head via a tiki bar. I'm all for it. Go ahead. Here's my credit card. I'm way ahead of you there. By the way, when you pull the corn over to the cooker today, keep out about a half a pound for me for Dr. James Kerr to eat. Oh, God. Pick up customized birdhouses or any other many gift ideas over at 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way, 1000oaksbarrel.com. Also check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. I felt like I was officially on a roll now, so I decided to incorporate a clock joke into the next one, which involves Royce mishearing the word clock and hilarity ensues. Hey, look at this clock photo I saw on Instagram. Now, Becca, you are a married woman. I don't think it's appropriate you go looking at these sort of things. What if my mother heard you talking like this? It's a photo of a clock from Thousand Oaks Barrel. What did you think I said? Oh, never mind. Well, it's a barrel head clock with a moonshine theme that we can personalize with a distillery name. I thought we could use it for our new bar. I say go for it. Over the past few months, I've found the products you've been buying... From Thousand Oaks to be top notch. Your joy gives me happiness, so if you like it, I say go for it. Pick up a customized barrelhead clock or any of the other many gifts, gift ideas over at 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's a number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. My God, this next one is the stuff that legends are made. It's one about a gift for a papa, which is just loaded with great lines. And Royce's delivery is Academy Award worthy, at least in my mind. Check it out. Becca, the moon of my life, what are you doing? I'm on a Thousand Oaks Barrel website looking for a gift for papa. Now, Becca, my grandfather comes from humble beginnings in Clay County. He's not looking for big city gifts like you exchange in North Dakota. For instance... Last year, I gave him a pack of shop towels, a 30-pack of champion spark plugs, and a sink I found on the side of the highway. You gave your grandfather a used sink? Becca, these gifts weren't about making a statement. They come from the heart. It's the way a man shows his love for his grandfather. Well, I think we can do better than a hair-filled roadside sink. Take a look at this Lazy Susan. We can get customized with Papa Sizemore's white dog label on it. He would love to use that on his kitchen table where he can rotate between his various condiments, spices, and seasonings. Whoa, that's pretty nice. When will I learn not to question my copper-haired, beautiful wife? You are a work in progress, my love. Pick up a customized Lazy Susan or any of the other many gifts over at thousandoaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1,000 with no comma, by the way, 1,000oaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1,000oaksbarrelco. At this point, we had done enough of these where I decided the next thing I wanted to do was sort of a parody of the commercials themselves. Basically, I'm having Royce brag that he is the talent that leads to the success of these ads. Becca, people sure have been talking about our work for 1,000 Oaks Barrel Company. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's just because of our deep and passionate love for one another? Now, Becca, I do love the dewy, sweet taste of your kisses, but I would surmise people are drawn to these commercials for my professional polish and delivery in making these commercials. Royce, honey, look at me closely. Look deep into my eyes. Oh, uh, okay, what? Don't be a wanker. People love these commercials because of the great products we're promoting. You can get so many great items at Thousand Oaks Barrel Company. You know, Becca, on second thought, you are probably right. I've been educated at some of Kentucky's finest institutions of higher learning, yet I've never been trained in the areas of announcing or acting. Does that show? No, honey, you are super smooth. That's why I love you so much. Pick up a custom barrel, a Foghat smoker, or any of the many other gift ideas over at thousandoaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1,000 with no comma, by the way, thousandoaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. I couldn't believe I got away with that one. Royce actually read it, so now I was really emboldened. At this point, I'm thinking, he'll read whatever I write, so I thought, you know what I want to get recorded? Him lauding accolades on to me. As Royce is reading it, 
he's onto the joke and starts laughing. And you know what? I think it made it even better. He even blows the one of the lines where he calls me Mr. Oakley instead of Mr. Akeley. It made it even funnier. I don't know. This one just kills me. So check it out. Here's the one where Royce puts me on a pedestal. What was in that box that got delivered today? That was my fog hat smoker from Thousand Oaks Barrel Company. It's the one Steve Akeley recommended. Now, Becca, I look up to Steve Akeley as a successful businessman with an unbelievable sense of humor and a keen <laughs> sense of timing and storytelling. He's a mentor and role model for me, and God willing, and the creek don't rise. Maybe one day I'll be one tenth of the man. He is. I'm just not sure cocktail accessories is his forte. <laughs> this thing is unbelievable, Royce. Here, look on the counter. Look at the smoked Manhattan I made for you. Here, try it. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty nice. And it looks cool. Once again, Mr. Oakley was spot on. Is there anything that man doesn't know about? I doubt he's your go-to for the best vegan restaurants, but yeah, he knows a thing or two. Pick up your very own Foghat Smoker or any of the many other gift ideas over at thousandoaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1,000 with no comma, by the way. Thousandoaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. And then it would all come crashing and burning. I just went a little too far. I stepped over the line on this one. It's okay. This was the last one. It was number seven of seven. Again, we needed seven ads for seven episodes a week of the Bourbon Daily. And Roy starts reading. He goes through like he normally does. He doesn't read anything in advance. He reads it as it's on the paper, which you can tell that's exactly how he's handling things throughout the course of these ads. But he looks just far enough ahead to see that I've got a joke in there. If he reads the next line, it's going to be a joke about him wearing a White Claw t-shirt. Now, he famously has drank a little bit of White Claw, and I've given him a hard time about that. But now it's going to be documented where he's saying something about it on the air, on the podcast. And he refuses to read the last line. He walks off, says, I'm not doing this, and walks away. Now, that leaves Beck and I with an ad that's about 90% completed, the last one that we need. So I decide I'm just going to read the ad in his voice. I've got his voice down good enough where you're not going to be able to tell. It's seamless. So I have to read the line, can I have a kiss then? That's all I've got to do. In Royce's voice, let's see how I did. My sweet red-haired beauty, what are you up to? I'm on the Thousand Oaks Barrel website. I'm thinking about ordering their two-liter, four-barrel stacking system that looks like a rack in a rickhouse. What do we need that for? I have 153-gallon barrels filled with my amazing bourbon, rye, and moonshine, and more. Well, not in our house, you don't. You know how we are designing a speakeasy right in our home? How great would it be to have a four-barrel system to age some moonshine, some bourbon, Manhattan, and old-fashioned cocktails right behind the bar? That sounds amazing. You are as creative as you are beautiful. This is why my love for you grows deeper each and every day. Come here and kiss me. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Get out of here. I'm going to complete this transaction at 1000oaksbarrel.com. That's the number 1000 with no comma, by the way. 1000oaksbarrel.com. Also, check them out on Instagram, 1000oaksbarrelco. Then I'm going to bed. Can I have a kiss then? Maybe. You do look pretty cute in your There's No Laws When You're Drinking Claws t shirt. It was legit terrible, I agree. But it added to the humor of the situation, and I love the fact. And, and that one we got so much talk about within the ABV Network crew. They loved it. I loved it. It was great fun. So, what does all this mean? Well, it gave us something to laugh about, something to break up the tension of some pretty tense times. We didn't change the world with our lovebird ads, but we did have some fun. A Thousand Oaks Barrel Company didn't renew their agreement, but that's what they were supposed to do. It was a three-month run designed to ramp up their holiday sales. How do I think we did? Well, from my perspective, Thousand Oaks clearly helped us. They helped us stay afloat and give us confidence that we were still a viable podcast company. Over time, our sponsors would begin coming back, and today we're stronger than we ever were. Recently, I got an email solicitation from Thousand Oaks and a new sales rep that they have. In this email, he notes that the Thousand Oaks Barrel Company is home to the Fog Hat Smoker, and to date, they've sold over 4 million units of this product. I couldn't help but smile when I saw that, knowing we contributed a little bit to that number. Before we close out today, I want to thank my friends, Royce Neely, Becca Neely, McNew, and Justine May. You helped save my company from the darkest times. Also, thank you for our audience for always hanging in there with us, even if we weren't sure we were going to be there for you. 
I hope you enjoyed this fun look back at a time when a couple of lovebirds helped sell some great products and save a company. Thanks for listening today. Hopefully you enjoyed a look back at one of the classic moments in the history of the ABV network. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some of the great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro is owned and operated by Russell Creed, who makes stills for the hobby distiller. He offers a one-stop shop for everything the at-home distiller needs. Whether it's a small, experimental stovetop still or something bigger you run outside, he has the still or parts you would have difficulty fabricating yourself if you were trying to build a DIY still project. Additionally, he has resources to assist in creating unique distilled spirits including heirloom grains, barrels for aging, and recipes. Check out Russell's company online at moonshinestillpro.com. Finally, I have a question for you. Have you ever boxed a bear? Of course not. That'd be silly. Bears really don't follow the rules, so shots in the back of the head, punches to the nuts, and scrums after the bell would be the norm. A better idea would be to enjoy Boxing Bear Whiskey, a brand crafted by Nobleton's Distilling House in Union, Missouri, and sold exclusively at the ABV Barrel Shop in suburban St. Louis. This is a popular offering that sells out quickly, but when you're in town, stop by the ABV Barrel Shop and see if they have it in stock. Better yet, sign up for their email and text distribution over at abvbarrelshop.com and you'll know exactly when it is in stock. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.